Hello everyone and welcome to Stitching Ain't Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank you guys so very much for joining me today. Today, my friends, finally, am I right, is Crochet and Tell. Which is quickly becoming one of everyone's favorites, I feel like. That's where you, my beautiful friends, send in your makes of the month with a little description about your yarn or what you did or just a photo, whatever. It doesn't have to be a yarny thing. It doesn't have to be crochet. It doesn't have to be knit. It doesn't have to be a yarn. Um, I have several of you who have sent all sorts of things in and I appreciate that so very much. So I have several of you beautiful ladies who sent things in this time. So I just want everyone to know, <laughs> disclaimer, um, because I'm kind of late getting this out. I kind of just put them in the order. Last time I tried to put them all together with the person that sent them and it kind of got to be confusing and then a couple times I didn't get them. They were separated anyway. And so I figure why not? <laughs> we'll just, what does it matter? We'll just, you know, go random. And so I just, from whenever I got them, I started adding them to the list. And so that's how I'm going to do it from here on out. I hope everyone's cool with that. Just having them like your things sporadically placed throughout the video. I hope that's not a big deal. I don't know why it would be. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like, hey, here's your stuff again. It's kind of surprising and fun. I guess maybe that way. <laughs> but yeah, so that way I could just go through, screenshot, save the photo, <laughs> and your, you know, put your info in and everything, and then just do it that way instead of having to make sure I got everyone's things in there together. So it's kind of fun that way though because you kind of get to see progress throughout the month. So it kind of turned out really cool to be quite honest, but personally, I think. But anywho, okay. So we're not here for me to ramble this time. Often. That's why you're here, is for the ramblings. But today, nay nay, not today. So, all right. My friends, <clears throat> you've waited long enough. So here, may I present to you, I really shouldn't tell you have a hat that I tip, but may I present to you, Crochet and tell. Okay, this one right here is from my mama. This is the Ashley Cal, my beautiful Miss Jin at Cinnamon Stitches. This is the yarn that I was telling you guys about the other day. That's the Hobby Lobby yarn. I believe it's like the yarn B, I think the glowing. Don't quote me, please. Thank you. I don't know, but my goodness, look how pretty that is. So yes, this is her Ashley Cal, and I love it. I love the colors. So good. So then this next one is also from her. This is her beautiful cardigan that she made using the same yarn. And I think it is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's the yarn be glowing. Once again, don't quote me. I'll ask her. We can put it down in the comments. All right. <laughs> Okay, this is from beautiful Katie. This is the sweater weather cardigan. It is a free pattern from TL yarn crafts She used one and a half skeins of lion brand pound of love and pastel pink and her 6.5 millimeter hook So pretty It's from beautiful Marilyn. This is a cute little dog and it is the colorful patchy dog by Clover. She used Mirror Woods by Premier and she thinks that her four millimeter knitting needles, she said that they weren't marked so she couldn't be sure. She added some small rocks to the bottom to make it as heavy, as, to make it heavy as she plans on using as a doorstop. She said that it was easy to make and loves how it turned out. Okay, this is beautiful Miss Katie again. This mushroom was made with I Love This Yarn in Ivory and Red Heart Baby Pink. The stock was made with a five millimeter hook and the cap with a 5.5. So very cute. And these little Easter peeps were made with Big Twist in Varsity Yellow and her four millimeter hook. So cute. <laughs> I love them. She said that she also started the No Drama Llama, which was requested in purple. Perhaps we'll see it at the end of this video. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> this is from beautiful Margaret, by the way. 
she said that she just got this cool bag for her favorite or for her favorite crime and crochet you are way too sweet <laughs> thank you so much i'm going to try to work on that case today our next crime and crochet case so stay tuned thank you guys okay this next one i don't know if i could share it i just like real fast sneak peek this is miss jen sent this to me from cinnamon stitches this is the ashley poncho so cool this was on her facebook and i it's so cool so speaking of ashley things y'all are too sweet this is beautiful shirley this is her ashley towel using jen's pattern for the poncho she said not a cow but a towel she said that she used big twist cotton in the color tangerine splash and her 4.5 hook so cool i love it she also said many thanks to deb for sharing this pattern on last month's crochet and tell it's the time in the bottle pattern by ninja bunny she used karen cake Karen Crystal Cake in the color clar Claret and her 6.5 hook. She says it's very glittery. Uh, notice the super cool zipper pouch that she's wrapping. Also, you are too sweet. You guys are amazing friends. I appreciate you all. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's so pretty. I love those crystal cakes. They are fun to work with for sure. Okay, beautiful Miss Margaret again in <laughs> her Normville shirt. She said she was so excited about her shirt. You truly are precious. You guys are amazing. I think it's so cool that you're telling your friends and family about Normville. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so yeah, that's very flattering. You guys are awesome. Okay, beautiful Miss Shirley. This is another shawl that she made using the Ninja Bunny Time in the Bottle pattern. For this one, she used Red Heart Ombre and Sunny. I am loving this colorway. It's so cheery and bright. That is so cool. Okay, beautiful Shelly. She said that she's never made an amigurumi for, before. Um, you did a fantastic job, Shelly. She said that Beverly Beaver was her first one and then she made the bear. She's addicted to them now. I completely understand. <laughs> And perhaps, once again, maybe we'll see some more. Ooh, stay tuned. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful Miss Margaret. She made the Pokemon Snorlax for her oldest son. The pattern is by Crochet with Melanie on Etsy. And it's so cool. I love how it turned out. Did a wonderful job. She also made this... Okay, she used this book right here, and she made this owl granny square with cotton from the 3D book that we're looking at currently. Um, we had a cow going for that book at one point. I need to get that book out again, by the way. There's some really cool squares in there, but yeah, this owl is so cute. I love it. <laughs> so cute. <clears throat> yeah, we were doing a crochet along with that book for a little bit, but Okay, and this is her Ashley Cow by Beautiful Miss Jen at Cinnamon Stitches. I am loving the colors in that. So cool. So pretty. You guys probably hear the dog barking. I don't know what he's barking at. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> so this is a placemat that she made with cotton yarn and eyelash yarn, and she did not have a pattern for this. <clears throat> so pretty. It's very festive. I like it. Okay, I think the eyelash that looks really cool on there. So this orange blanket is made from granny squares and double crochet and she did not have a pattern. I love the way that it turned out though, it's very cool. The orange once again, it's another just kind of cheery, fun project. I like it a whole lot. Very cool. Okay, the scarf was made using Ogo yarn. I love this yarn. And Karen Simply Soft variegated. She did not have a pattern, but she used the stitch from Krista at the Secret Yarnery, but she wasn't sure what the name of the stitch is. She said that Miss Krista used it for one of her blankets. So, very cool. And this is a whip that she's working on. It is her pretty green blanket with different stitches. I'm loving that. I don't know what yarn, but that is... I'm loving this. I can't wait to see this finished. I hope you're going to share it whenever you're finished. Just saying. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> okay, this is Miss Marilyn. This is her cute little mouse. She said that she loves how the face turned out on this. She bought it, um, she bought the pattern from a lady on Etsy. She said that she only paid $1.58 Canadian. The woman is from the Ukraine. So she considers this a win win. I think that is so awesome. I will link the name of the ladies Etsy shop down below. Um, she used her 
and her two millimeter hook and ice cream or lime brand ice cream yarn there we go but yes i will link that at etsy shop down below because that is amazing so i have to say i like the face too a wonderful job <laughs> Okay, so beautiful Miss Deb, this is her Easter basket that she made using Oh Baby Organic. Super cute, I cannot believe the Easter has come and gone, that is just bananas, but it's beautiful, love the spring colors, so good. Hey, okay, this is the Virus Shawl for this, she used Fiber Spiders Tutorial and Horizon Yarn from Hobie. I have some Hobie yarn now. I feel very fancy about it, just saying. But yeah, I love Fiber Spider's tutorial. They are tutorials. He does a wonderful job as a teacher, but I am telling you, I need to make a virus shawl. They're so pretty. I love the colors in this one. So fun. Very rainbow. I like it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, these hats she made are donation to Knots of Love, and she used basic stitch yarn for these. So very cool. I like the colors. Okay, this top is made with Momenti yarn and is a sweet pea tutorial by Doris at Doris at Doris at Rose Cottage Studios. Trip over my own tongue here, but yes. Beautiful Doris from Rose Cottage Studios. It is her sweet pea tutorial. Check her out if you have not. She is fun. Okay, um, this is her single crochet beanie using the Premier Fruit yarn in the color Dragon Fruit. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, clear, clear my throat. But yeah, I like the Dragon Fruit. That is a pretty, pretty colorway. That yarn is fun. Okay, beautiful Miss Amy. So this is a blanket that she made, as you can see there, there's a red heart heat wave and a basic stitch that she used. I love the colors in this. So good. There's this one, it's a beautiful granny square. <clears throat> and for this one she used a sweet roll, I believe is what that said. My thingies in the way and I couldn't see it. I'm pretty sure it was a sweet roll. Y'all saw it, you know? Sorry guys. <laughs> I love that. It's so cool. Okay, so this cell phone crossbody bag was made um, by request in Big Twist. So very neat. And the purse <laughs> that she was working on last time is finally done. She's, um, she said that, or she made it with macrame cord. She also said grr, <laughs> which made me giggle. But yeah, she finally got it done. The rainbow purse is made in wool ease, and she made one for me. I love it. Love it so much, by the way. And she used a six millimeter hook for everything. <coughs> Excuse me, goodness. Okay, beautiful Kathy. All right, so Kathy told me that she had a little story to share. She went to clean out her yarn stash and she wasn't sure what she had since they were in opaque totes. She found 12 year old yarn. She said that she is a hoarder. I disagree. I personally feel like she's a lover of the finer things in life, but that's just myself. So she said that the first blanket is a continuous granny that she used an eye hook. It was made with Red Heart, Super Saver yarn, and Aaron Fleck. The date on the label was 2010, and she said she does remember buying it, but she wasn't sure what for. Honestly, the fact that you remember buying it says that you're not a hoarder. <laughs> she says that she used scrap yarn in navy and taupe for the accent. So pretty. This one is a pattern from Cinnamon Stitches. She said that this is the shawl that she made during premiere week. She changed it into a throw, used an eye hook for this one too, and the yarn was I Love This Yarn in the color Tin Roof. The label also said 2010. <laughs> she said she does remember <clears throat> that she bought this for a blanket for, one, for her oldest daughter, but she didn't like the color. She says she still has skeins left over. This had, this totally gave me a giggle. I loved it. So thank you for your story. <laughs> beautiful Miss Amy. This is, this beautiful shawl that she made was, she used her eye hook in Karen Cakes, Karen Skinny Cakes, in the color, I believe, Sugar Cube. 
I can't read, apparently. <laughs> All right, my goodness. She also made this full-size blanket with scrap yarn and a rainbow yarn in her J-hook. She says she loves to see the beautiful makes that are shown on Crochet and Tell. She said that there are so many talented people, and I could not agree more. You are definitely one of those talented people, sweet Amy, just so you know. It's beautiful Miss Shelley. This is her third Amigurumi for April, and I absolutely love it. Going from not making one to whipping them out. I'm just saying. I love it. So cute. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so currently we have the spring flowers blanket cow going on, and I forgot the other day to share Angela's beautiful square in my video, so I apologize to her. She sent in new squares, but I'm going to save those for our video on the 5th. I absolutely love this. I think this is going to be such a beautiful blanket. I love your, I'll show it again on the next one, I promise. Okay, so beautiful Miss Shirley. This is her diamond painting. This stained glass look from Crystal, or stained glass look Crystal from Crystal Canvas Art Designs. It is a 14 inch by 36 inch. I think that is so pretty. I love all the flowers. Okay, so Miss Angela, she knit this headband using I Love This Yarn Old Glory. She said she did not have a pattern. She also made this little bird. It's so cute. She said the pattern is by Amagurumi today and she used Red Heart yarn. I think it is adorable. Oh my goodness. And this last one where you can see, like, it's okay. His little feet are too cute, but then you see his little tail. So cute. I mean, come on. It's adorable. Okay, then she has several headbands that she made. She These are all knit and she used scrap yarn. She did not have a pattern, but they are absolutely beautiful. She told me that I did not have to show all of her makes. I'm just going to say it. If you spent this much time making them and then sent them in to me, I'm going to show them on here. I feel like everyone needs to see your beautiful, beautiful work. I mean, look at that. I do not knit, or can knit, depending on what you call it, but oh my goodness, such beautiful work, so yes, I'm definitely going to share it. <laughs> <coughs> it's so pretty. I love the colors in this one, it's like very golden, I don't know, it's very fancy, I like it, I like it a lot. I mean, look at all that like yeah I'm gonna share them <laughs> for sure it's happening so good okay so these are her owl bookmarks she used scrap yarn for these and didn't have a pattern I cannot even they are so cute little owls on them wait for it I mean how cute <laughs> this knit baby hat is the first pattern of a set by Lullaby Layette. She said it's free from Lion Brand. So very cool. <clears throat> the mini bunny is by DIY Fluffies and the little one is made with a number 10 thread and the other was done using a DK weight. So cute. It's a little flower on its head. I love them. So cute. I love your background too. <laughs> okay, this is her knit hat again, just gorgeous. And she did not have a pattern, but oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Uh, okay, her super cute baby outfit. She doesn't remember the name, but oh my goodness, look at those little shoes. A little hat. Oh, it's so sweet. So sweet. I love it. Okay, Miss Katie back with it as requested. <laughs> Her no drama llama in purple. She used Big Twist Purple and Big Twist Sparkle White and Pound of Love in Lilac. She also used her four millimeter and six millimeter hook. So cute. Purple was a good choice. Just saying. Alright, Miss Suzanne has a tale for us today. Today was a very sad day for Suzanne. She said that she has several gnomes on her porch, or has had several gnomes on her porch for a very long time. Her cat was trying to catch a hummingbird, which the gnome was protecting. <laughs> the gnome stood his ground, but was no match for the cat. Poor little guy. She said she's going to try to find some bigger gnomes for her porch, but 
<laughs> because the Normville and Norm, we had to rep it and pay our respects to this little dude, you know? Ugh. <laughs> okay. Hey, beautiful Miss Diane. Firstly, she said that she loves to see all the beautiful things everyone makes for crochet and tell. Again, I cannot agree more. You guys are awesome. She said that there was no pattern for this baby blanket, but she used the heart in the center square pattern from Jade and Stitches for the little squares and the heart applique on the hat. She made it using a three weight yarn and her 3.5 hook. I love this. Okay, this beautiful blue shawl that she made is a fiber spider tutorial called the Arbor Shawl. It is a two-way yarn and she used her three millimeter hook. She said that she thought of me while making it because she knows that I like the look of fully crochet and I absolutely do. It's on my wish list. She said the tutorial is super easy to anyone who wants to follow and give it a try. This was her first time to do a fillet project and you did a phenomenal job. And I do love fillet crochet very much. Okay, she said that this um, crochet triangle shawl is the crochet triangle shawl with shells by Annie's Designs. It is made with a size 10 mercerized cotton thread and she used her 3mm hook. Beautiful. Okay, this is gorgeous by the way. <laughs> this afghan is the mud cloth inspired throw by Marley Bird. She used her 4 weight yarn or 6mm hook. I have officially added this to my project wish list, just so the group knows. All right, cool. My goodness gracious. It's so pretty. Okay, Miss Shelley's back. Again, I'm loving this. So this is her fourth amigurumi for this, for this month. This is her hamster with strawberries. This is from Amigurumi Treasures and Zumigurumi Books. I think it's so cute. <laughs> You're doing amazing. Look at that. I mean... How happy is he? I love it. <laughs> it's so sweet. <laughs> Strawberries. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, beautiful Miss Sabrina. She made this blanket and pillow to match. They were made using Lion Brand Heartland yarn and her 5mm hook. I love the colors in those. It's so pretty. So very pretty. Okay, so this is her whip that she is making. It is a rainbow square granny square jumper using her scrap yarn. She is using her 4.5 millimeter hook. And I truly hope, Sabrina, my dear, that you share this with us whenever you are finished because I feel like it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. My goodness, look at that. I really hope that you bring that back so I get to see that. <laughs> absolutely love the colors in that. So pretty. Okay, Miss Suzanne. This is her, she said, Ripple slash Ashley blanket. So sweet. That she is making for, that she made for charity. She used her eye or 5.5 millimeter hook and 17 balls of Premier yarn from the Dollar Tree and measures 65 by 46. She said that she made this while flat on her back in bed with the shingles. I'm so sorry. And she said that thank the Lord for his goodness. Amen. I love that she took the Ashley thing and made Ashley Cal pattern and made it into a blanket. Y'all are just so talented with your change ups. I'm loving it. Towels and cowls and ponchos. So fun. Okay, these are her whips and I'm loving the colors in both of these so very much. But yeah, I just think it's so cool that everyone took that pattern and just went with it. That's so neat. Y'all are amazing. Blankets and cowls and ponchos and towels and... But look at those colors. Oh, it's like right up my alley with the colors right there. So good. So good. Oh my god. Okay, and last but certainly not least is beautiful Mary. This is her spring fling t-shirt by Miss Jen from Cinnamon Stitches. She used her H-hook and Hobby Lobby Sugar Wheel Cotton and sprinkles on top and also ink jet and bluebell hillside. As I mentioned every time, my wish list just gets longer and longer. Um, so much so. <laughs> And I've thought about this since last year. I've had different ideas written down for what I wanted to do on here last since last year, 
one of those being I want to start a new thing like um a new series I guess um but like my crochet wish list things that I wanted to make but I haven't and so I can do that and I already have one for you guys that I'm going to have up this week I think it's going to be called crocheting my wish list I'm not really sure but um yeah I did one of those things it's not something that was on here but my wish list is growing and so that kind of works out that I have that new thing to share with you all but yeah whenever I have something that I've really wanted to make for a long time it's kind of have like its own special little video just because so all right um so once again I thank you guys so much for your time your beautiful work and for sending in your goodies and taking the time to do that you guys are amazing I appreciate each and every one of you so much you guys are amazing the ones who just like sent in or like little like hidden thing or like you know like hidden but like non-obvious things of like the stitching and easy stuff y'all are so precious I love that it was just like here's my stuff it's whatever I just wanted you to show you like my new cool bag I'm like you guys y'all are so sweet and open those I was just like oh <laughs> okay so anyway but yeah like I mentioned earlier um just a minute ago I'm working on the new <sighs> crime crochet it's a it's a doozy y'all it's a doozy if y'all don't want to get mad don't watch it I don't know what else to say I'm just gonna be honest I've had to just like put it away a few times because it makes me mad and my husband was like you're just gonna have to do it just do it and bite the bullet the story needs to be told just do it I'm like you're right but like infuriating and so yes so if you don't want to be mad perhaps avoid this one I don't know but anyway but yeah so I've been working on that because I need to get that out to you guys because those are so much fun I love those oh and speaking of <laughs> it's a sticker you guys that's a sticker I don't know if you knew that so yeah we're gonna have this for next time how cool is that I love it so yes but I'm in crochet all right um I believe that's all I said we're I've discussed before what um, case we're doing in case you're curious we're doing the Osage Reign of Terror next um, I'm telling you it just like infuriates me a lot but anyway that's a whole other thing but he's right I need to just push on through that get over it and do it <laughs> I'm going to try um, speaking of my husband we made a video and I'm going to be putting that up probably tomorrow um, I'm not sure probably mm, tomorrow or the next day because I was trying to do down the rabbit holes on Wednesday and I didn't do one last week so I might do a down the rabbit hole tomorrow and or my hubby and I's the next day I don't know sometime this week we have a never have I ever video coming up and uh, giggles abound as always whenever him and I get together and oh my goodness yeah that was a fun one <laughs> so <laughs> watch out for that I guess um, but yeah, other than that, I guess that's all I have. Um, I'll make a ramblings and talk at some point, but yeah, this, this isn't my platform currently. This one's for real. So, all right. So thank you guys again for sending in your beautiful work. I love doing these. It is so much fun and I have so much fun like putting them together and doing the voiceover and just like the whole thing. It's so relaxing. <laughs> I just... I don't know because I like type up my little thing that I say and like the whole I just once again if you guys have been here for crime and crochet then you know how I like to do with like reports and stuff and so I feel like this is kind of ish the same like I put it all in a little thing together and then present it to you guys and I love it it's so fun so thank you for allowing me to present your beautiful works I appreciate you all so all right so thank you guys once again if you would like to send in your makes for crochet until next time Please, uh, feel free uh, to do so. Um, please. Why not? My email is always in my about page on here. Just go down here and then like look over here or over here. I don't know. Somewhere. Um, and just in case, it's stitchinaineasy42 at gmail.com. All lowercase. Um, yeah, you guys can send in your beautiful makes and I will share them with everyone. So thank you guys so very very much for watching Crochet and Tell. I hope you 
you all have a wonderfully, <laughs> I forgot what I say. I hope you all have a wonderfully, wonderfully blessed day. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you guys again. <laughs>